yesterday started on uh, a good note, and then it just turned into a bad note very, very quickly. And in fact, we saw something happen that we have never seen before in terms of institutional money that I want to discuss with you guys. Now, remember, SHIB right now, again, is still very heavily correlated with BTC. We're getting drug around by Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin making these same exact moves you guys can see. And right now we got drug back down in our into our descending wedge. And and yes, that sucks. We were showing good strength up here. In fact, we were above this range for what, like three days or so? Good show of strength there. Unfortunately, you can't escape what BTC is doing. And BTC dropped in a heavy way yesterday. And it was partly due to a couple things. We had uh, big institutional selling GBTC throttling back up to $130.4 million worth of outflows. So not a small amount there. It's the largest that they've actually done since uh, April 17th. We had the proposal for a capital gains tax raised to 44% from Joe Biden. Thanks, Joe. And yeah, there was just just mixed bag when it comes to you know Q4 reports and things like that. And because of that, you guys can see that BTC got pushed down and drug assets with it, she being included. But I think the most shocking thing that we experienced yesterday that we have never seen before is when we do look at this institutional money, BlackRock, the largest accumulator through this early spot Bitcoin ETF uh, phase that or not phase process that we've been going through. They had a $0 inflow day. That is the only one they have ever had. And this is kind of surprising, right? Because we know that obviously they want to gain a larger hold on the industry. They likely want to become the largest holder in terms of spot Bitcoin ETFs. And a zero day ain't going to do it. Now, the problem that we had, and one of the biggest contributions to these falls, again, you know, when you have $130 million in outflows and you have and this happens earlier in the day. Remember, this guy's right here. This is part of this wick. Part of this wick down in terms of BTC is from that $130 million worth of selling from, from Grayscale. But the problem is, is later in the day, when you have almost no money buying it back up, well, that's the days when the charts kind of look like that. Okay, We've seen days like that before where there's a huge, huge outflow, and then there's not much in terms of, of inflows, and the charts just end up kind of you know, frankly, looking like crap. For example, I mean, luckily we had a retail bounce back here, but this is another big day of institutional selling, right? Uh, actually, right here, the big wick down. And then luckily retail bought this back up. But right now, we retail is just kind of chilling. It's not really doing a whole lot. That's kind of where we're stuck at right now. Now, me personally, and, and I'll talk about this in further videos too, I think this is just a big shakeout right now. I don't think this direction continues. It would not surprise me like I talked about before, just chop, right? Post having chop. That's that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. We're seeing that in BTC. We're seeing that in other assets throughout the space. Don't be surprised if we get more of this chop, all right? Before we get that bullish confirmation, before we really get a confirmation of direction, that is what can send things higher. But it's just a question of how long does it take? It's all about patience. Remember, it's taken anywhere in the past from seven days through two months until we do get that actual push one way or the other. So just be patient. We'll have to let things play out. You know, me personally, I'm just going to be accumulating as there are positions that that come available in my buy zone. So I appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your, your thoughts below, but have a great day. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.